Hi, this is the Texas Weekly Newsreel. It was a week for gambling, schools, and peeing in cups. We'll start on the gaming front. The biennial effort to legalize casinos and or slot machines in Texas is underway with a constitutional amendment under consideration in the Senate. They had a press conference, they had a big hearing, and then they stalled it out in committee uh, where it's been left pending. Uh, even the sponsors of that think the chances are relatively slim, but they want to keep pitching. Voucher supporters, a group that includes Senate Education Chairman Dan Patrick, had kind of a bumpy ride this week. Last week, as you'll remember, the Texas House voted decisively against using Texas Education Agency money for vouchers or for a scholarship program that sort of resembles vouchers. Dan Patrick had a bill that would have done just that in committee this week, and it doesn't look like he has the votes in the Senate and might not have the votes in his own committee. Attorney General Greg Abbott renewed his pitch this week for a redistricting plan. He wants the legislature to make permanent the temporary plans that the courts drew last year to elect the House and the Senate and Congress. His argument is that that would smooth the legal path for those plans and remove some of the court stuff. Legislators who have the legislature in a pretty good mood aren't sure they want to bring up a rancorous subject like redistricting again. And finally, state lawmakers have advanced the idea of drug testing people who get unemployment benefits or TANF benefits. The Senate approved those new standards and it's on the way to the House. It seems like a, a huge waste of taxpayer money, money that could be spent on the benefits people receive as opposed to uh, testing all of these possible recipients for, for finding just a handful that would not qualify. If the purpose of these programs like TANF or to provide a safety net for people. It's not unreasonable to ask that while you're on that safety net that you not be using or abusing drugs. And that's the newsreel.